Right now, in these times, as Amazon is obviously killing their affiliate program altogether by slashing the commissions and forcing all of us to go to the other affiliate networks, it's a good time to get familiar with ShareSale. I have used ShareSale for I think more than six years now and it has generated me a ton of money. In this video I'll teach you how to get set up in no time. In 10 minutes I'll teach you how to get set up, get approved and get everything just right so you can get started with those affiliate links. And you need this guide because the interface and the whole website on ShareSale is not all that good. I'm sorry to say they just really need a good user interface guy on their team. Just under the reports tab inside the system, there's 17 links in the menu. That's horrible. Even after I've used the site for more than six years now, I get confused on a weekly basis. So I have some bookmarked links that I use in order to get to where I need to go in the system. So check out this guide where I show you exactly how to use share a sale and how to get set up quickly and get approved in no time. You go to sharesale.com and you click this yellow button here. I want to promote this merchant on my website. And now you're taking to this site here where you create a username, you create your password and so on. Let me fill that out here. And then you move on to step two. Now you will add your primary websites. Just add the biggest one that you think will send the most traffic. We can always add more websites later and it's not like you need an account for every website you have out there. You can use all your YouTube channels or your websites and whatever you want. And then you choose here what language it is and you need to tell them here if you have any adult content. And then they have some questions here. You typically just need to click no to all of this. But of course you need to read it first and then move on to step number three. If you're using an email that's not associated with the website, if your email is a Gmail account or something else, you need to click this button here and it will take longer to get approved. So just use any email you have set up with your domain already, like info at yourdomain.com. And now move on to step number four. Here you will fill out your name, your phone number, your address, the state, zip and postal codes. So this will all be dependent on which language setting you chose at the previous state. And now you get a little four digit pin code here that you can change to be the same as the pin number on your phone or whatever if you want to change that. And that's a little pin you will use if you call in to get some support. Now you're asked to place in a brief description of your site. And if it's just a regular blog or website, you know, that's promoting affiliate links, just write here that you are a blogger and you want to promote offers in relation to the topics you're writing about. And here you need to tell ShareSale whether or not you are paying your visitors to do stuff on your site. Let's say you pay them or reward them for specific actions. You're probably not doing that. So just click no to that. And here domain ownership, you need to verify that you actually own the domain. And now you can click on to step number five. Here you need to tell them if you want to receive payment by mail, by check or by direct deposit to your bank. And you can just set this to choose later because you don't need to fill that out now. Let's click complete step. To read all of that, of course, click I agree to the above terms. I verify that the information provided is accurate. And now you can complete the application. Yay, congratulations, you're now part of ShareSale. Now it's time to figure out how to find the best affiliate programs to work with. In ShareSale, they have what they call power rank. And that's a way to list all the best deals that you need to check out. So this one is the power rank one is the best performing program on share sale. So go down through this list and check out which one of these might be a fit for your audience because you know that these are all converting really well. So if you send your traffic here and it's good traffic, they will do well on that page by converting those into customers. And then we also have here what they call EPC, which means earnings per click, but really it's how much you will earn with a hundred clicks on affiliate links. So this is the average number across all the different blogs and sites and YouTube channels who are sending traffic their way. So it's a great indication of how well it's performing. So for example, this program here is making close to $100 per 100 clicks. That means that every click sent there by bloggers and so on is making almost $10. That's crazy. So take a look at these top performers here and dig into this earning per click, but also be aware 
that some of these numbers might work well for one website, they might not work well with your audience. So send 100 clicks there and see how it works and don't be afraid to mix things up here and move to another program if it isn't working for you. And now that you have a profile, you still have to apply for every single program here. There might be some programs that have you pre-approved, but many times you need to click the little join program here. So the first thing I advise you to do is to go over the list of all the different programs that could work with your audience and just click join program for all of these and do those few steps it takes to join those programs because it'll take a while before you get approved. And if you want to get your affiliate links right away, you need to click join program today in order to do so in a couple of days. When you go to merchants up here in the menu bar, you can click merchant status and always see here what's the status and which one have you approved already. Let's click into one here and see what we can see about this one. So this is boat setter and they give you a $20 commission per lead. And one thing I need you to pay attention to here is the cookie day. It's set to 30 for this one and that's typically the standard. That means that from the time people click on your website to they buy eventually over at the store, you will have a 30 day window where you can make those commissions. So let's say somebody is clicking on your recommendation and on day 31 they decide to buy, you will not get any commission because you only have this 30 day window. It's just something to keep in mind. Now I have some tips for you on how to maximize your earnings with share sale besides just joining the best programs, you know, everybody will find the top earning programs as soon as you learn to use the platform. But you need to learn how to negotiate. That's something I really regret I didn't do sooner. I have been using share sale for a couple of years before I started negotiating higher commissions for myself. And overnight, I just earned more than a thousand extra dollars from just getting better affiliate offers. I work with many different affiliate networks and this is something you need to learn in general. The commissions you see are the lowest possible payout you can get. You know, that's where everybody starts. Some of these affiliate mm. networks, I've been able to double my commission. That means that every time I get a sale, I earn twice as much as the next guy with the link just below mine because they don't know this yet. So you need to learn that. Heck, they even build it into the system. Let me show you here how you can find your own personal commission rates inside the system for every advertiser in there. It's so crucial to get this right. As soon as you start getting some traffic on your site and you can see that you're sending quite a lot of traffic to these affiliate networks, you need to negotiate better deals and you need to establish a good relation with the affiliate manager on the network and you also need to work closely with the bigger brands that you send traffic to. All the programs have an affiliate manager that's dedicated to this program and they love when you reach out. Just establish a connection there, you will get much better rates and they will love working with you. So when you reach out to this affiliate manager, I'm not talking the network specifically now, they know some stuff, but when you get a hold of the manager of the program itself, you're talking to somebody who's working in the business that you're promoting. Ask them to let you know what are the best sellers and what are new products that you need to push maybe before anybody else. And that will also enable you to get the best deals out there and maybe they will even let you know when something runs out of stock. And now that you talk to the affiliate manager, get some unique coupons for your readers. Coupons are great when we want to get our readers to click on our affiliate links because they feel like they're getting a better deal now that they get a discount. Even though they might find those discount across all the sites, we always see the click rates go up when we offer them coupons. And make sure to ask the affiliate manager to include your domain name in those coupons because now your readers can see that they are for your audience specifically and they will be much more likely to click your links. Maybe even ask them to click the link and use the coupon together with your link because just telling them to do so will incline more people to do it and you will see much more clicks from the same number of visitors. So a few more tips here on how to get success with your affiliate links from share a sale. Make sure to use text links only. Maybe a few buttons here and there, but they will have a ton of banners for all the advertisers in there, but don't use them. The banners will not do any good. 
Leave all the banner advertising to AdThrive or Zoic or Mediavine or Premium Ad Network. They will do much better with that. And then use the text links for affiliate links. As I said, maybe a button, maybe do a comparison table or so on. It's not like you can't do anything else than text links, but don't do banner ads. And another tip I have for you is about how to organize all those affiliate links. It's important to think about this early on because eventually when you have hundreds of links scattered all over your site, it's not that easy to go in and clean that up to get a better structure. So I'm working with a plugin called Pretty Links. Pretty Link will help you organize all your affiliate links. So you only place that affiliate link one place and it will give you a new URL that you use across all your pages. So let's say you're linking to this deal 15 different places on your website. Now you want to promote a new product or it ran out of stock and for some reason you need to replace that affiliate link. Then you don't have to go into all those 15 places and find exactly where those affiliate links are because you can just change this little link inside pretty links and whenever you're starting to get a lot of traffic for a page on your site that you know is doing really really well with affiliate links then you can start doing some split testing inside share a sale you can set these unique urls parameters that will allow you to do two different urls for the same product and now inside google analytics you can see how many clicks you have generated with each link so you can do a split testing on the same page or you can use the links across two different pages in order to see how you can generate more clicks from the same amount of traffic. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And as I keep telling you guys, I'm working on a huge course and it will come out eventually. I'm working on it and it'll get there. Get on my email list that you can find on my website if you want to get on the waiting list and be the first to know when the course comes out. Or just subscribe to my channel because I'll let you know. <laughs> Have a good one, till next time.